This has quickly become one of my favorite series and so many of you guys requested a buttercream challenge. These bakeries have made such extraordinary cakes in the past. I mean, we've had Baby Yoda, we've had this crazy zombie, we had that unicorn one, but the Grinch on, on the big rock, like the amount of cakes we've had has just been so cool, except most of them are fondant or gum paste or modeling chocolate. Rarely have we had any that have been buttercream because buttercream is so challenging to work with. And I feel like all these bakers just think I can do cooler designs with fondant. Except you guys wanted to challenge them to do buttercream. So I want to challenge them to do buttercream. So that's what we were doing. And I put together a Pinterest board as per usual. So one cake that we got in buttercream before in the past was this one. I mean, it's mainly buttercream, so that's kind of where I was using as my baseline to inspire the series. I said I wanted like 80% buttercream. You could still use fondant, you could still use other mediums like chocolate, gum paste, etc. but I wanted it to be mainly buttercream. So you can see, even with something like this, that there's really cool techniques that you can do with buttercream. It doesn't just have to be a tiered iced cake, but you could do really fun textures and patterns with color colors that you don't normally see with cakes. That's so cool. We should try that. We should. I'm tempted to try a challenge video. But like, hold on. This is a trend that I've been terrified to try. But is this not so cool? It's like carving with the buttercream. It's insane. That's our next video. You're doing this. I'm not doing this. Yeah. That's going to be your next challenge. No, oh, I retired, remember? <laughs> There's also other really, really cool techniques that you could do with buttercream. Like this is a 3D card figure of a bunny, but yet the entire cake is made and decorated out of buttercream. And I think when people think of buttercream, they think of just a round cake covered in icing with some flowers or something on top. That is not what I want. I want next level insane. They know my expectations at this point that I love 3D cakes, that I love carved cakes. So that's what I'm hoping to see. We also have things that are a buttercream cake with flowers. These are all buttercream flowers and they're like hand sculpted with a palette like you paint with, like you paint with like acrylic paints and then push onto the cake and the texture is so cool. I tried to find a bakery to do this years ago, could not find a bakery who could agree to it. So. I'm excited to see what these bakeries come up with, but I really hope that they push the boundaries, that I don't just have tiered cakes with something on it, that they do something really cool and that they're all very different. Let's uh, bring out the first one before it melts. Oh, I'm coming in. Can I look? All I see is white. What's up? Oh my God. Oh, that's like eerie, but so cool. I don't know what it's supposed to be exactly. Do you know what it's supposed to be? It's a marble statue. A marble statue, got it. With this challenge, we have to have a whole other level of appreciation, because could you do this out of modeling chocolate? Yes, easily. Could you do this out of buttercream? No, not easily. So everything is so much cooler because it's so much more challenging. You can definitely see how much carving went into this. To me, I'm getting more like eerie ghost vibes. And I feel like that's because of the way it's draping across the face compared to like a marble statue. Like to me, that's what it's giving but it's really cool and it's so unbelievably creative. It looks almost wet, so I'm guessing she had the buttercream in the fridge and then used either a wet technique or like a hot knife technique where you can like brush on water and that's gonna smooth it out. One thing I will see, you can get these same cake boards in black and in different colors and I think if the cake board was black, maybe the cake would pop even more, but that could have just been her creative choice. And I am seeing like, this is such the hard thing when it comes to buttercream, but there's some crumbs in it. As you kind of look around, you can see some crumbs in the buttercream, but that's kind of it. There's not really a lot of flaws to go on or anything to go off this cake. Cause it's just very cool and creative. I just think it's, do you like this kind of like fun design or do you like something completely different? But that's what's so beautiful about art that it's completely subjective. Now let's see what the other artist made. Ready? Yep. Can I look, can I look, can I look? Yep. <gasps> Holy cow. Oh my God, that is so cool. That is so, so cool. I know I just said that. You've got like spring, summer, and then fall, and then coming into winter. That's what it's giving off to me anyways. This is art. I love that even though it is a three-tiered cake, that it's next level and interesting, and they have so many textures going on with buttercream. Like they essentially use this cake as their canvas to create their art on. Like let's just take apart one tier here for a second. You've got this layer, 
and then that's built upon to have these layers at the bottom and then the mountains at the back and then layered on again with the trees. I'm a little bit nervous. It seems like it could be leaning. It could just be the way that it's carved out. Like if you see it this way, this steps back and this steps back away from it for the waterfall. But it's really, really beautiful. Like this is extraordinary and not something I would have expected. Look at the little delicate flowers they have on the spring tier. That's so pretty. I think you could stand here and turn this cake around for like 10 minutes and every time you turn it, see something different. And they even brought some of the things that are going on in the tiers to the outside of the cake. Like I'm, I'm just seeing it now, like, but you've got like the green leaves and the green trees kind of coming out into these 3D little leaves and the flowers coming out from like the little cherry blossoms that you're seeing over here that are petaled into it. But then once you come down to fall, you've got the fall leaves coming off the tree now. And then when you come into winter, you've got this like winter frost coming across the branches. Like the level of thought that this person would have had to put in this cake is amazing. Wow. This cake must have come in and out of the fridge at least a hundred times in my mind because every layer she would have had to have done, she would have had to take it in and out of the fridge and let it build up. And I'm guessing she did it with like a paintbrush and a palette. Basically art techniques on a cake, which is really cool. The one thing I'll say with the design, I'm not sure we needed the waterfall. Like when I look at this, the tree brings everything together but I'm not sure how the waterfall ties it together. Not that it really takes away from the design. And the one thing with the waterfalls, I'm seeing like this orangey yellow kind of smears going on in the middle. I'm guessing that's from these leaves kind of underneath there and isn't supposed to be there would be my guess. But other than that, like this is so creative. It's so beautiful and really unique and just like completely art on cake. As you guys can see so far already in this video, buttercream is so challenging, but yet it's also really incredible and diverse. Some of you guys may have noticed that we've been working really hard on something big that you guys have been asking for that we're really, really excited about. A course, an actual course, oh my God. From reading all of your guys' comments and questions, I decided for the first time ever to reveal exactly how I approach cake decorating. Whether you wanna work on an original design from scratch or recreate a cake from inspiration that you found online, at the end of the course, you'll walk away with the skills to consistently create jaw diving cakes that will blow your friends and family or even your potential customers away. If you guys have been wanting to learn my unique methods and my framework that I use in every single cake that I make, make sure to join the waitlist down below in the pinned comment. You'll be the first to know when the course drops and receive a super special discount code that we're not going to be sharing anywhere else publicly. Now let's see what the other bakers made. All right, come on in. Coming in, coming in. I can look. Yep. <gasps> Holy cow. Wow, okay, that's not what I expected at all. That's really cool. One of the bakeries let slip that it was a tiered cake with buttercream flowers on it. And I was really like, no, you're not supposed to tell me anything. But there's no putting the cat back in the box. But this isn't what I expected whatsoever. I think those are chocolate flowers. And I think that these are rice paper sails. So I, I'm not seeing the buttercream flowers. Overall, like that is really beautiful. It is really modern. I love the flair of the sails. I'm just missing more of that buttercream that I was expecting to see. I mean, it's a buttercream challenge where the majority of the cake and the decorations need to be buttercream. And what I'm seeing is they've iced the cake in buttercream and they've done some buttercream stencils, and then they've made these branches and leaves out of buttercream, which is really cool. But I'd say the majority of the decorations aren't actually buttercream at all, which I'm a little disappointed in, but the design itself is really amazing. And I think the use of textures is really interesting. Like I love that they added this like cool, chunky, like coarse sugar sprinkle texture that's going on with the bottom, but they also have like some gold paint, but then you can see these are like 3D decals that are like made out of fondant and they didn't just leave the sails by themselves. They've painted the edges and done some more sprinkles coming up it. So the design itself is extremely intricate. Like even when you think of the cake board, they could have just left the cake board as is or just covered it in fondant, but instead they brought the textures and the colors into the cake board. It's very, very well thought out. I will say the cake has a lean on it. Like it is for sure leaning. And from everything that we've seen, this is just gonna completely collapse very soon if I don't get this in the fridge. To me, it feels like they almost took this challenge as a medium challenge because they have use of buttercream, chocolate, sprinkles, fondant, gum paste, 
and I believe it's rice paper sales. Like those are so many different materials and mediums that they put into this cake. I'm just missing the buttercream. I mean, cause it's a buttercream challenge, especially when they said they did buttercream flowers. Like these pictures over here, like that's what I was expecting. I was expecting to have like that buttercream palette knife look that is so challenging to do. Couldn't do it with anything other than buttercream. I don't know if I'm being too hard on them. You guys let me know. I think I'm just like, I wanted buttercream. Okay. I cannot wait to taste these. My favorite part of these videos is always seeing the three of them together because oh my God, the different directions they went. I have to say, I was really hoping for more 3D cakes. I think 3D carved cakes are so challenging, but like, wow, does she go above and beyond with this 3D cake, but also this one with all of the painting techniques and the incredible art that she went into it, even though it's not a carved cake, is absolutely amazing. And this one, the use of textures is really cool. It's just missing that buttercream element, but I'm curious to see how they all taste. So this one here is kind of funny because I ordered a chocolate pound cake with an orange chocolate brandy filling. But on the box, it said that the top tier is a vanilla cake with a cookies and cream filling, and the bottom tier is a chocolate cake with a butter rum filling. I don't know what happened. I'm like a little nervous right now that they gave me the wrong cake because at this point, it's not really the buttercream challenge and it's completely different flavors than what I ordered. Nonetheless, I guess let's cut it and taste it because I can't go back. This is gonna be one tall slice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so my life flashed before my eyes. <laughs> Apparently so did Archie. <laughs> Definitely cookies and cream and not orange chocolate brandy. Uh, so it is what they said it was on the box. I like cookies and cream though. Let's see what it tastes like. It is a delicious cake. It's a little bit sweet with the icing, but I'd say like the cake itself is delicious and the filling is really yummy. I feel like for cookies and cream, I wish it was more cookies and cream. Like I feel like it's a lot of vanilla and not a lot of cookies and cream. And the bottom tier is a chocolate cake with a butter rum filling. Oh, it smells very alcoholy. Wow. <laughs> this strong? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Her eyes are watering. I feel like I just took a shot. Holy crap. This is not kid friendly. It's not a bad cake. It's just extremely alcoholic. Like it's. Can I have a bite? Yes, come in here. Mm. Mm. Oh. It's pretty strong. Like I feel like if I ate this slice, I would get a buzz. <laughs> yeah. It's good. It's, it's really just good. It like, like my eyes are, like they are watering. I don't normally like alcohol flavored desserts, yeah. but I actually really like that one. Not what I ordered, but good. I had some water. I thought about it. This is definitely our cake because they said on the box that it was vegan on the inside. And that was one of the first things we talked about in the email. So I think it's just like the flavors and their creative take went wrong, but it's definitely our cake. Let's try the next one. So this one is supposed to be a Bailey's cake made with a chocolate cake and Bailey's buttercream. More alcohol. More alcohol. The cake is is very crumbly though. I don't smell any Baileys or anything specifically. So I'm trying to get more more filling to see if I can taste the Baileys because in the in the first bite I don't taste Baileys. I'm assuming the Baileys is only in the filling and not in the out, outside icing. I'm just gonna cut out a little bit more to see if I can get more of that filling in there. So I really want to give it a test, like not just have one bite. It's not just excuse to eat more cake. No, I don't taste the Baileys. It's creamy, it's delicious. Like the, the, the filling in the middle is so creamy and light and it has a good flavor, but I don't taste Baileys at all. The cake itself, you see how it looks kind of crumbly like that? That's kind of the texture it's giving off in my mouth, which I'm not a fan of right now. But the cake itself tastes good and the filling tastes good. Like it's a really yummy cake. I'm just not giving off the Baileys. The last one is a lemon cake with a blueberry reduction. That sounds absolutely amazing. Ah! <laughs> 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 I'm so sorry. It got like stuck on the doll and then it was just like flying up at me and scared the bejesus out of me. Oh my God. So jumpy. <laughs> I'm very jumpy. I scare super easy, which is why I can't go to haunted houses because they purposely seek me out to scare me because they hear me screaming. So then they just like attack me all night. It looks incredible. That was pretty tasty. It's very, very moist to the point that 
It's like a little almost like wet tasting. I will say like I'm just noticing that there's a skewer in my cake slice. So I think you have to be careful as a cake decorator, like where you're putting your skewers or tell people about them when they, did they tell you anything? No. Okay, telling people about them so that way when they cut it, they don't actually bite into a skewer. But the flavor is actually really good. I love the combination of the lemon and blueberry. I think you could even go like a little bit bolder with it. It was very subtle, but it's very tasty. So overall, the design I love the most is definitely this one. Just the color, the textures, all the different tiers is so cool. The one that challenged themselves the most is 100% this one. To do a carved cake with buttercream, they definitely took the challenge and ran with it and like props to you. And I would say my favorite flavor, even though it's not what I ordered, would be the vanilla with the cookies and cream because I think the texture of the cake and the icing and the sweetness and everything just balanced together really well compared to the other ones. But you guys let me know down below what you think of the designs and how they did. And thank you guys so much for watching. Love you.